glass. It's been crafted and utilised for millennia. It was in Galileo's telescope and Neil Armstrong's helmet. Up next, we'll visit a studio dedicated to the appreciation of glass as an art. Less than a mile from Dragonfire Gallery is Icefire Glassworks. The glassmaking studio is filled to the brim with one-of-a-kind works of art crafted from the beautiful and practical medium of glass. We chose the name Ice Fire because of apparent contradictions. When working with glass, you have to come up with some kind of model to understand how the material is going to work. And since we're working with a liquid that is um, uh, cooled to below its theoretical freezing temperature without changing from a liquid to a solid, it seemed contradictory. We used the fire to keep it molten and flowing, and yet it's, it's ice-like in its final form when it sets up and stops moving. The studio itself is an architectural work of art with features such as metal hinges salvaged from a shipwreck. Nearly every square inch of the building is covered with glass, but you won't find any cookie-cutter designs in the whole lot. Icefire distinguishes itself by offering truly unique designs, so you leave knowing you own a truly one-of-a-kind item. One of the approaches we have to glass at Icefire is to try to make every piece unique. We got to take a look at what goes into the creation of Icefire's masterpieces. The technique of glass blowing dates back as early as the first century BC. Although the tools and methods have changed a little over time, this dynamic process is still a difficult technique to master and a sight to behold. Blown glass is probably the least forgiving medium that I can think of. It, it involves so much work and so much practice. Um, uh, I, I liken it sometimes when I'm describing this to other people, I liken it to playing the piano, that it's practiced every day. Glass is one of the most useful and widespread substances on earth. It permeates nearly every aspect of our day-to-day -day lives. So how does it still hold the power to mesmerize and inspire? Glass as a medium is really all about handling light. It has the potential to be totally transparent, or it can be somewhat opaque, it can glow, or give you optical images. It has an incredible range of both color and opacity. So the opportunities of dealing with light are tremendous. We had fun at Canna Beach, but when we come back, it's time for our second stop on our coastal jaunt. That and more when we come back 